How are you, Jenny? How am I? <clears throat> you, countless others, ask me hundreds of times each day. I lie my life away, make myself crazy because of words I don't mean, but say because it's culturally acceptable. I could say, last night, I dreamt myself silly about itchiness all over my body. I woke up frightened, disconnected from my mother. Sleeping on my second floor room, I felt I was falling from the sky, ungrounded in her beautiful soil, floating, catching air drifts in the pockets of my clothing, slightly flying with lofty thought currents dizzying my mind. I could say, I dreamt of my ex-lover last night, and I was indeed no longer with him. But the object of my affection took on his face without my consent. My brain rationalized. At least now you're happy to be with him. I was in my brother's room, not my own. I could be clear-cut, all old growth and straightforward with you. I feel vulnerable. I feel scared. I feel insecure. I feel afraid. I feel anxious. I feel ugly. I feel deep, penetrating self-doubt. I feel unallowed to take up space, to exist, to speak. I feel pain. I feel separation. I feel a loss of words at not being able to express myself freely. I feel angry. I feel volatile. I feel distant, untouchable, yet craving to be touched. I feel frustrated, hopeless, helpless. At the end of my rope, I feel sad, wanting to be known alone, too lost to find myself. I feel destructive, jolting towards my next fix of temporary pleasure. I feel bored, misunderstood. I feel rejected, neglected, forgotten. I feel depressed, covered in gray fog and misty water, drowning in misery. I feel tired, losing energy just thinking about myself. I am ac acutely aware of my body's sensations, acutely aware of your emotional baggage. I would say, I want to hug. I want to be held in your arms forever. Hmm. Take me, this wounded soul, and nurture me with your wisdom. I want you to whisper, whisper in my ear, rest, child, all shall be fine. You are more beautiful than the setting summer sun. You are perfect just the way you are. I want you to listen to my stories of pain, anguish, and hatred. I want you to be patient with open mind and heart. I will say, Mama, you betrayed me. Where did you go? I'm lonely and I'm afraid. I have no one to talk to, no one who will listen. Make the fighting stop. Make the house be filled with peace. Tell me I am worthy of your love, that I deserve to exist, that I have potential and great wisdom to share with others in this life. Tell me I have value, that I am worth You protecting. do. <laughs> <laughs> Show me I am worth standing up for, worth staying up all night for, worth the labor of birthing. Tell me my father loves me and that my brother is safe. Tell me you will never again raise your voice in anger, that you will always be by my side in times of trouble and fear. Show me how to walk over at mm. Tell me the boy that only wants to fuck me is not worth my time. Rip me from his arms and cut the umbilical cord connecting me arbitrarily to his ugly soul. Show me how to walk over dangerous obstacles and to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Teach me to respect the darkness that leads me on my quest. Show me the way through dreamscape so real I wake up crying, aching to be one soul with the earth. Teach me to not be afraid, to stand in my power and ask for what I want. Teach me to open to human love, affection, and intention in an honest and holistic way. Teach me to trust myself and others, my intuition, my dreams. Fleeting thoughts lost the loudness, not my own. Show me what true love is, Mother. Teach me all you've ever known. I, as your disciple, will listen. And you, asking me how I am, this story is not singular. It is not just about me. That is why I pray, divine guidance, hold us in your arms as we struggle to find the places that feel like home again. Hold us through our sorrow and separation. Be our guide as we drift, wandering aimlessly from town to town, country to country, searching endlessly for notions of community, belonging, love, and happiness.
happiness. Tell us we are safe, we are whole, we are home. And you, asking me how I am, I hope you can accept the whole me. This long drawn out story, I hope you can. Let me shine, let me be, let me grow, let me know. Does my fear outweigh my love? My love for revolution? For freedom? For naked vulnerability? Will I succumb forever? I do not. Using my faculties, I use my choice, my power. Utilizing abilities to seek out, reach for and touch the most holiest of possessions. Complete honesty and transparency. I am not here to be a shadow, a mirror of the sky or someone else's face. I only mirror myself shining the world, beckoning, beckoning humans to see me. What are my goals? Show up in your total embodied self. Be true above all else to yourself. Sing your song walking down the street. Refuse to submit to a mono life. Illuminate the darkness with flashes of light beaming from your heart. Attempt freedom, liberate falsities, free your body of burdens. Feel alive, for you have forgotten. And the healing is the remembrance, the dance that frees sweat, toxins, fist, fixed logic that becomes confused. The only thing that can, ed <laughs> that can ever set us free is love. Every act must spring from this source. Love is our only refuge from cruelty, the only hope for humanity. This is not metaphor. Bigger than what for, an essay about destruction of natural places and forgotten traces. It's a call to action, a wake up call. Hmm. Answer the phone that's ringing in your heart. We can all hear it and it's driving us nuts because you refuse to pick it up. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Refuse to pick up notions of character, kind words that can heal all souls, seemingly in unison, to spoken word poetry, hymns, and toning. We are being phoned home. The home being our hearts. Put your hands on your hearts. Pulling apart the bullshit, picking up the pieces, rebuilding the town. Reconstruction. This time for true human growth and progress, not lack and liability, money or perceived benefactors. For ourselves, for each other, for this earth, for this life, for this water, this sun, these trees, this breath. Yes, the only way to free ourselves, family, is to be brave, despite our age, a difficult task. I said it before, I said it again. The only task worth undertaking.